everybody, it's Doreen and I'm back today with a get well card that I've made for my dear friend Skylar. She's been under the weather a little bit and I wanted to send her something to let her know that I was thinking of her. So um, we're going to be using the silhouette again today as usual and this is going to be a really quick, fast and simple card. And as you know, I always make my cards and I kind of dress them up after I've cut them out using my silhouette. So what does our card look like for today? This is the card that we will be making. So come on and join me and I'm going to show you how I made this card. Okay everybody, so we're going to bring up the supplies so we can get started making this card. Now this card, you have no choice but to make it a get well card. And as you saw when I first explained to you what card we will be making today, it has the words get well soon. So it does have to be a get well card. But any of the other cards that I've done, you can change it up and make it to be whatever you want it to be. Now the one that I did for Skylar for her birthday, you do have to make that one a birthday card because it does have happy birthday to you at the very top of the card. But any other of the cards that I do, you can change them up and put a different sentiment on there. They don't have to necessarily be birthday cards. And I just wanted to make that clear because I know a lot of people wonder why that's all that I make because that's usually what I have to make. So, let's put this card together. It's really simple. I've already gone ahead and used the print and cut to add my inside sentiment. Now, I'm not going to give you the measurements on what size to make your paper if you're going to use the print and cut for the inside sentiment because that is based on what your sentiment is or what are you saying in your sentiment and you want to kind of make it that the paper doesn't come out to right here because you have that space and you don't want the wording to be seen from the front of the card. So you'll have to do some uh, measuring on your own when you lay this out on your mat if you're going to use the print and cut feature. You could also just rubber stamp your inside sentiment and you'll be all set. So the last thing that we'll have to do to finish this card, well of course you know I have to bling it up and add some more embellishments. That's a given. But as far as putting it together, we just need to add this piece. So what I'm going to do is, and this was a scrap sheet as you can see right there, but I'm going to get my tape in all the places that I can get my tape and then I'm going to use my two-way zig pen to get my little swirls here along here so I'll just get some glue on all of that and then I'll get some glue across here and then along the swirls here because you do want this to stick down on here and we have this little small tiny edge here so you just want to try to get glue as many places as you can so that your car adheres properly. So I think we've got enough on there that it should be okay. It's already trying to stick to my finger. So I'm going to open up my card. I'll move that out the way. And I believe I didn't get the swirl up here and that little flower. I'll make sure we get it everywhere. And then I'm just going to flip this over and carefully add it to my card. Make sure I'm down far enough. And then I'm just going to press down. And there you have it. There is the front of the card. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and you know what? That's right. We're going to bling it up. Well, not too much bling. And put some flowers on there. Maybe, possibly. And I'll come back with the finished card and my envelope. Okay, everybody, so I'm back with the finished card. So, as you can see, I had to add that bling. 
So I just went ahead and took some of the strips of bling that I have and added that up here at the top and then I added a row of bling across the top of the um, cup. I guess that's what that is. And then I put some bling here in the flowers, the center of each one of the flowers. And then I took these little stem flowers that I have, jewel stem flowers, and I cut the cut one off and put that in the center of that center flower there and then added some more bling down here at the bottom and then from my envelope I once again used my We Are Memory Keepers 123 punch board and I made a box envelope and then I just stamped out thinking of you and the stamp um, set that I use is a Stampalicious I believe it's called or Stampin' Scrappin' I'm sorry and I use the Tim Holtz Distress Ink, and this is the Chip Sapphire. So that's it, everybody. This is my Get Well card that I've made for Skylar. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.